everyone, welcome back to the Vegetastic Mum Kitchen. I hope you're all well. On today's video, we are going to be making uh, one of my favourites. I think I say that all the time, but <laughs> this one really is one of my favourites. Um, and I am going to be making a spinach and ricotta lasagna today. Now, normally I would do spinach and ricotta cannelloni, which is obviously the round pasta tubes and then you stuff it and you know however after comparing the prices of the cannelloni tubes and the lasagna sheets I, I just I, I couldn't warrant spending the money on the cannelloni tubes um, when I've already got lasagna sheets so you can do this recipe with cannelloni tubes it's all exactly the same the only difference is is the filling that we're going to make you will stuff inside the cannelloni tubes everything else is the same um and obviously with the lasagna sheets we're going to layer it like a lasagna so let's go take a look at what we need and i hope you enjoy so for today's recipe we're going to need baby spinach um we're using some single cream we're going to be using grated mozzarella ricotta cheese lasagna sheets, garlic granules, mixed herbs, passata, salt and pepper and olive oil, and quite a good amount. I think I've got about six cloves of garlic there, um, all crushed up. So I will write the ingredients below for you, but uh, this is what we're gonna be using today. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need a frying pan and we're just going to put that on a medium heat. Pop some olive oil in. And what we're going to do first is just brown off our garlic slightly. So we'll pop the oil in there with the garlic, there we go, start getting that cooking through. Okay, so when your garlic is nice and browned off, you're gonna take your spinach and add it to the pan. Now we do not want to completely wilt down this spinach, we just want to cook it down a little bit and mix it with the garlic. Just ever so slightly. And at this point, we're also just gonna add some salt and pepper to our spinach. We are just aiming just to soften off the spinach. As I say, we don't want to completely wilt it down. That's it, that's all mixed with the garlic now. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off and transfer this spinach into our bowl. Okay, then what we're going to do is take our ricotta and we're going to pop that in with our spinach and we're going to give it all a really good mix together depending on how many people you are making this for depends on how much spinach you need 
So I'm going to make this one with you guys and then I've got an extra bag of spinach because I'm going to make another one afterwards. So okay so that is our garlic spinach and ricotta mix as you can see so we're just going to pop this to one side for a moment okay so i've just got a jug here and passata and we're going to open up our passata now this is passata with basil but i'm still going to add a few herbs and things to it so i'm just going to pop this in there and we're going to add a good heaped teaspoon of mixed herbs and a heaped teaspoon of garlic again Add as much garlic or as little garlic as you like, and we're just going to mix that together. There we go. So that's ready. Pop that to one side. Then, what we're going to do is get I've got my glass dish that obviously fits in the air fryer. You're going to want your lasagna sheets. Okay, now what we're going to do is start and layer this. So, the first thing we're going to do is take our tomato based sauce and put a layer on the bottom. Probably centimeter two centimeters thick on the bottom on the bottom of your dish then taking our spinach and ricotta mix we're gonna pop it in the bottom and you are swirling it in with your tomato sauce now obviously when you if you decide to use the cannelloni tubes you'll pop your sauce in the bottom stuff the tubes and then sit the tubes on the top but because i'm doing it as a lasagna today i'm doing it slightly different so as i say we're swirling it in with your tomato sauce like so make sure you've got spinach and ricotta mix all over the bottom then add lasagna sheets. So I'm just going to go for one lasagna sheet in this dish in the middle. Like that. Okay. We're going to pop our lasagna sheet down. And then we're going to layer it exactly the same. So tomato based sauce this time as you're layering it just enough to cover the lasagna sheet and more of your spinach and ricotta mix And we will repeat this process until we're near the top of the dish okay and then I'm going to add in our final lasagna sheets Odd bits on there like that okay then just move that to one side for a second 
and take any remaining spinach. You don't need a lot, but take your remaining spinach in the potter. Take your single cream and pour probably two to three tablespoons of cream into your spinach and ricotta mix and give it all a really good mix together. Then we are going to put, we don't want tomato sauce on our top layer, that's why we've added the cream because this is going to be our creamy spinach top layer. So we're going to pop all of this into there, make sure I've got all this garlic out, I can see lots of garlic. There we go and spread this out. So essentially like when you make a normal lasagna you have a white sauce on top to finish well we're finishing ours off with the creamy spinach and ricotta filling like so and finally just grab yourself a handful of mozzarella and sprinkle some on the top. Now you can just put a little bit on, like I'm doing, to melt in. And then towards the end, you can add a little bit more if you wish, just to crisp it up at the end. Okay, so that is our spinach and ricotta. And I'm gonna do this in the cassori today, so let's head over to the cassori. Okay, so as I say, we are using the cassori. I've already got a liner in there, just in case this bubbles over. So we're gonna pop our glass dish in there, like so. And to start off with, we're gonna cook this at 170. And we're gonna cook this for 25 minutes. and then we're gonna come back to it and see how we're getting on. Okay, so this has just beeped after its first 25 minutes, so let's just take a look. Oh, that looks so good. And it smells absolutely gorgeous. Okay, there is still a little bit of crunch there to the lasagna sheets. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to pop this back in and I am going to turn the temperature down now to 155 and we're going to do this for another 25 minutes and by the time that has done it should be perfect to get out and have a taste test. Okay so I've dished up, <laughs> I've dished up our dinners and we're really hungry. <laughs> So me and TV are going to try this for you today at the same time. So have a go at that, Evie, and let me know what you think. <laughs> it's my happy place. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. What do you think? It's nice. Are these homemade? Yes, of course they are. I don't know, do I? Mm. It's so good. What do you think of the spinach and ricotta lasagna? Well, it's really, it's really nice, and you can't really taste the spinach. <laughs> you can. <laughs> it was really that I got. But it's just, it's, taste. it's mixed in with with everything else, the cheese, and the tomato, and the lasagna and the cheese. I love it. What are you doing? No, it's mine. It's really good. That's all I can say. 
it's just really good. You do like it though, right? What are you doing? <laughs> You've got your own dinner. <laughs> it's it's just it's just really good. I can't say any more than that. It's a, <laughs> the ricotta and the spinach make it really fresh. It's not overly, you know, like a lasagna can sometimes be really creamy. It's not like that. It's more fresh, but it is cheesy and it's just, it's just really good. <laughs> yes? Can I help you? You've got your own dinner. <laughs> You've got your own dinner. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please have a go at this. I absolutely love spinach and ricotta, cannelloni or what lasagna. You, you it doesn't matter. Pepper? Ricotta is a cheese, like a soft type cheese. Um, but just not not like you know like Dairy Lee or Philadelphia. It's 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 different to that. Is this it? No, that's smoked pre creamy. Anyway, have a go. Let me know what you think. Drop any comments below, and see you in the next one. Take care for now. <laughs> Say bye, Evie. Bye. Bye. Get off my dinner. Make your own. Bye.